Hello everyone, uh, I hope you're doing well wherever you're watching me from. Now, uh, today's experiment, um, okay, I was asked by some of the learners who are following me on YouTube, <laughs> the same here. Now, um, you know, they were asking if we can able to do a number of questions and, uh, or practicals relating to the rate of cooling. Uh, today, our main aim is uh, to see how, you know, to confirm what we know, because you know that uh, the rate of cooling of a given uh, substance uh, may always depend on the temperature of the surrounding. So if we increase the temperature of the surrounding, then somehow, theoretically, <laughs> we expect that uh, the rate of cooling of that substance to decrease. Uh, but then if uh, the temperature of the surrounding or the temperature is very low, that means what? The rate of cooling of that given hot substance uh, will increase. But then suppose you find that the data that you've collected does not support uh, you know, the theory that you know. How do you make a conclusion? So let's start the experiment to find out. So before you start carrying out the experiment like this, you are always advised that you need to, you need to be able to answer, um, you need to be able to understand what the equation requires. That means you have to follow, read all the procedure before you start because you may start and maybe there is something else that uh, may hinder you from getting the accurate results. So in this experiment, you will investigate how the surrounding temperature affects the rate at which water cools. Uh, carry out the following instructions referring to the figure 1.1 as you can able to see on your screen. Now, um, a part 1, pour 200 cubic centimeter of cold water into the beaker, record the temperature theta 1 of the water in the beaker. Uh, number 2, uh, pour hot water into the boiling tube until it is about half full. Gently place the thermometer into the boiling tube. Place the boiling tube into the beaker of water. Record in the first row of table 1.1, as you can able to see on the diagram on the screen, the temperature theta of the water in the boiling tube and immediately start the stop clock. Okay, so record in the table the temperature theta of the water in the boiling tube at times 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, and 20 seconds. Use the first and second columns. Now, part B11. Carefully empty the boiling tube and the beaker. That is now the second part. Pour 150 cubic centimeter of cold water and 50 cubic centimeter of hot water into the beaker. Record the temperature theta 2 of the warm water in the, in the beaker. Now repeat steps in A12, recording the temperature theta of water in the, uh, in the boiling tube in the third column of the, of the table. Now, the first thing is to understand what the question requires here. Remember, the aim of this experiment is to investigate how the surrounding temperature affects the rate at which water cools. So, the surrounding we're talking about here is uh, the temperature in the temperature of water in the beaker. So, we're going to use water which is colder and then another which is warm, and then we see uh, or record how you know, the water in the beaker is going to cool. So that is going to be our first, uh, first thing to do. So let's uh, see what we have here, so that we can go to start. So we have a stopwatch, uh, the beakers, we'll use this. And this is the glass beaker, we have the plastic beaker. We'll use this to carry the, to hold the hot water. We have cold water here, this is cold water. The hot water is there, that is what is boiling here. You can able to see over there. So in the electric. Yeah. This is the hot water. Uh, it's, it's boiling. <laughs> so once it's done, uh, we'll be able to start. Now as we are waiting for the hot water to be supplied, uh, the first thing is to always ensure that you know how to use your stopwatch. So most learners um, they wait until they start starting, then they realize that they cannot start or stop. So if you realize this, uh, that means just change the mode uh, to stop. 
watch all this the clock. So this one here, this is to start, to stop, reset, start, stop, reset. So once you ensure that you are everything is in order, now with the stopwatch, this is a thermometer. Uh, this is mercury thermometer. It is there. We will able to remove it once it is very delicate. <laughs> so we have to take care of it. So I think we need. We have everything we need. Uh, so now let's get uh, started. So we have uh, the scan here, which we need. Uh, sometimes in the experiment, you know, someone tells you you are probably with a complete stand. Now this would be by complete stand. The boss, the club, and the stand itself. So we just need to. So before we pour in hot water, we see, uh, remember, uh, we want to pour water here. So when you pour the water in the test tube, uh, the part of water that is in the test tube is supposed to be actually must should be actually in the, uh, in this. So we just need to lower it. So this part here we are instructed to pour hot water into the boiling tube until it is about half full. Then gently place the thermometer into the boiling tube, place the boiling tube into the beaker of water. Record in the first row of the table, the table is here, in the first row. Uh, so we'll able to record our value here, the first uh, theta. So the first thing before we, you know, uh, we start pouring hot water into the beaker, uh, it's advisable we do what we record these values of time because this is what we're going to use. So from zero. So as you can able to see um, what you've been given, maybe 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. So we don't need to write the seconds here S S S S S throughout. So that is why we have the table heading here. So if you write time in seconds, it means all these values here are in are in seconds. And then we're measuring temperature. You can just finish this. These values are going to be in degrees uh, Celsius. That is the thermometer we are using. So we have the hot water. Now we are told to put um, approximately about a half but then we have to be very careful remember the water that is inside this tube here is supposed to be totally immersed in this water that is when we can go to have accurate results so approximately uh, half of this will be somewhere here it may not all be immersed so that will be told to about a half so you're supposed to make that decision so um, and then because we want to do another experiment uh, so that we can go to confirm our results that means that uh, it's good to take the measurement of the hot water uh, so that uh, you know just as a precaution okay. 
so that is uh, 20 cubic centimeter so it's too much of the temperature so wait until uh, the thread stops rising as we start thread stops depends on <laughs> the temperature of your water so that's why we need to measure our values um, so that is uh, 52 52 degrees so 52 degrees so I'm going to confirm that as soon as I put it here that is uh, I'm supposed to be starting the temperature I mean the stopwatch so as I place it in water uh, that will be the zero, this is 52. Then I start, so that is 52. After 30 seconds, we will record. So I have to be, so after 30 seconds, I record the temperature. These are our values. So for the first one with cold water, 52, 35. The temperature is decreasing from 52 up to 25. So let's go to the next part. Let's allow me to discard this. I'm not going to use this water, so I can just pour it here. I want some more hot water. Okay. So, previous one we measured.
quickly. Remember that the initial temperature of this pot water cannot be, cannot be exactly the same. Uh, but you're going to see, we are going to make a calculation based on our results you are able to see. Like apparently it's actually plus 60 and uh, this time, this is the initial this time. So, we are at uh, plus 62. So we have our data. So now there is our data. Um, you can able to see. <coughs> so the table heading is uh, clear. Uh, there will be a mark for that and then for recording. So how do we get to the other results? Remember? So this will be one mark. It's already awarded the other side. Now describe two precautions that you took to ensure that the temperature readings were as accurate as, as possible. One of uh, the things is uh, taking measurement taking measurement at eye level this is just to avoid uh, the error due to parallax uh -huh. another one is uh, we did this equal volume use equal volume of hot water hot water in the tube in the boiling tube we did that now write a conclusion stating how increasing the temperature of the surrounding water affects the rate of cooling of water in the boiling tube justify your answer with reference to your results now of course um, generally what we know is that uh, if we increase the temperature of the surrounding if we increase the temperature of the surrounding uh, then we the the rate at which the, the you know, something cools you know that reduces huh? but then for our case what does our data say it means so according to our data if you find the rate of change so 52 minus 25 you will find uh, 27 62 minus 35 you will find 27 so According to us, using data, so the temperature change, so range of temperature, so the range of temperature change is the same, therefore, So therefore the temperature, temperature of the surrounding, temperature of surrounding
does not affect does not affect the rate the rate of cooling so theoretically you know what to expect but then what does the reserves state here if you look at your data our data here right now the change in temperature here is 27 within 180 seconds change in temperature here is 27 this is what we have in data we may we must have made some mistakes during the experiment but then this is what we have right now so when you make a conclusion here you make a conclusion based on the data that you have not the knowledge that you have uh, about the about the topic so using my data here my room values here i will say that the, re the range of temperature change is the same for you know for each column therefore the temperature surrounding does not affect the rate of cooling because that is it's constant for, for us thank you